With the release of the Classic World BlizzCon demo, there was a lot of differences that make Classic World of Warcraft quite a bit harder than the modern version of the game. A lot of people have just gotten into playing Classic World of Warcraft for the first time, and they have found out that the game is quite a bit harder than what they're used to. No! Harry, he buried him! He buried! Oh, run! There are quite a few reasons as to why Classic World of Warcraft is just a bit harder than Battle for Azeroth, so in this video I'm going to be going over 7 reasons why Classic World of Warcraft is harder. Number 7, Gear Drops so to get gear upgrades in Classic World of Warcraft is just a lot harder and the chances of you getting an upgrade for your gear is just significantly lower compared to what you used to in Battle for Azeroth. And you can feel this from the beginning of the game, when you guys roll a new character in Battle for Azeroth, you get to have all these heirloom items that are just really overpowered and make the whole thing a joke and from the get go you get really nice gear. And of course in Classic WoW that is not the case, however once you're in the leveling process, you do not get that many green items from questing and drops. In fact the majority of drops and quests that you get don't actually drop anything that you can use. And because of the itemization in Classic WoW, you will get a lot of green items that really have some random stats. You will have cloth items with agility, which is absolutely worthless to a cost of DPS. You will have two-handed swords with spirit. There is just a lot of really random items in Classic World of Warcraft that you will never actually want to equip. So the chance of getting some items that you can equip are already pretty low, but not only that, but the chances of it having good stats that's something that will benefit your class is also even lower. Lower. And this principle of having gear upgrades being quite difficult extends all the way into the late game of Classic WoW. In a 40 man raid, a boss will usually drop 2 or 3 pieces of items, so yeah, it's very hard to get any gear upgrades in Classic WoW. Number 6, Ammo. So I think a lot of people have forgotten about this, as this really hasn't been a relevant mechanic in World of Warcraft for a long time. But a lot of classes in the game actually have to use certain reagents and ammo to play their class normally. The obvious example is that hunters actually have to buy their ammo and equip it in their bags, which is just a really big inconvenience. Not only does this cost money, but it takes up its own separate bag slot. Hunters have absolutely less bag space compared to every other class. Warlocks have to use soul shards to use their abilities normally. Casting certain spells requires reagents. And the biggest gold sink for some of these classes has to be the rogue. The rogue has to spend a lot of money for reagents for their poisons and special abilities. To use flash, you have to buy flash powder from an NPC. You have to craft poisons by spending your own gold on crafting materials. For the majority of classes, to use your class normally, you have to spend a little bit of money to buy ammo and reagents. Number 5, Graveyard Run. So in Classic World of Warcraft, there's just a lot less spirit healers in the game. So if you're playing Battle for Azeroth and you die in a zone, you will probably arrive to your corpse within about 20 or 30 seconds. 30 seconds at the absolute most, it really doesn't take that long. So when you die in Battle for Azeroth, it really isn't a big deal. You can get to your corpse very, very quickly and you can continue playing the game within less than a minute. However, in Classic World of Warcraft, one zone usually has two spirit healers and sometimes even one. So that means if you die in any given zone, there is a good chance that it will take several minutes before you arrive to your corpse and resurrect. And I'm sure a lot of you guys that have been playing the BlizzCon demo have found this out yourself, that the journey it takes to get back to your corpse is significantly longer than modern WoW. The most annoying example of this is when you're in a dungeon and your party wipes. Dungeons in Classic WoW don't have their own spirit healer and when you die, you don't go back to the entrance. You go all the way back to the spirit healer which is in the zone outside of the dungeon and then you have to walk through the dungeon portal and then go back to wherever your party died. And this can take over 5 minutes of walking. Number 4, NPCs higher stats. So this is a really big one guys. So if you've been playing on the BlizzCon demo, you will pretty much have noticed immediately that these NPCs are a lot stronger than what you're used to. And any given NPC that is your level will take a huge chunk out of your HP and you can't just keep continuously killing NPCs over and over again. Especially if you pull more than one mob, you're pretty much gonna die unless you do something specific with your cooldowns or use a potion or something like that. Especially for a warrior, if they pull two mobs, they are pretty much dead, so they have to run away. Now if you pull three mobs that are around your level, you're pretty much guaranteed to die. This difficulty of leveling is just non-existent when it comes to Battle for Azeroth. In fact, leveling content in the modern version of the game is really trivial and you really do not need to think about it. However, when it comes to Classic WoW, you have to plan how many mobs you're pulling and you have to kind of like snipe out mobs so you don't pull too many 
And you'll become very aware of this if you're in a camp of humanoids where they're all bunched up together. I think the most relevant example is the Molochs. With Molochs, they can just kill you really easily because they gang up on you. They run away, then they pull some of their friends, and then they attack you. It's an absolute nightmare to fight Molochs in this game. However, in BFA, you can just storm in and just annihilate everything, and you really do not have to think about it. They won't even dent your HP. There's just a huge difference in the difficulty of leveling in Classic WoW. This is probably the biggest reason why leveling in Classic WoW is just a lot harder than BFA. Number 3, Slow Regeneration So I have to say the BlizzCon demo hasn't actually given us an accurate representation of what regeneration is like in Classic WoW. In fact, I think my HP was regenerating way too quickly and from what I remember playing Classic World of Warcraft back in the day, it was nowhere near as fast as it is now. And I'm sure Blizzard will change this in the future. However, in Classic World of Warcraft, your HP and mana regenerates very, very slowly. And it can take several minutes without using any food to get your HP back to normal. So because of this, for a lot of classes when it comes to leveling and pulling mobs, you will have to eat and drink between each pull, especially with caster DPS. Some classes have this better than others, for example a hunter really doesn't need to eat any food, they can just continuously pull mob after mob. However some classes like the warrior or the mage, they have to constantly eat and drink between each pull. Simply because the health regeneration and mana regeneration is just a really big factor in this game and most classes in BFA never even think about their mana. However, mana in Classic WoW is just a huge mechanic of the game and managing your mana is just a huge part of the skill of Classic WoW, especially for healers and caster DPS. Number 2, Slow Movement Speed so moving from point A to point B just takes a lot longer in Classic WoW. In fact, we do not get a mount until level 40. There is no heirloom mounts, there is no mounts at level 20. You have to grind your way up to level 40, which will just take a really long time. And for most classes, the fastest you will move is the same speed you have walking. Some classes have some speed abilities, like the Shaman gets Ghost Wolf at level 20, the Druid gets Travel Form, and the Hunter gets Aspect of the Cheetah. But for the most part, the majority of the classes that you will be playing will not have any speed increases until level 40. So playing classic World of Warcraft in the leveling period, a lot of your time will be traveling from one point to another, going from one quest NPC to the quest objective, and so on. The classes that are fortunate enough to have some movement speed increases like the Shaman are really fortunate in this regard. Once they get Ghost Wolf, they can just level up way quicker than other classes. However, movement speed is just way slower in this game. A big tip for traveling faster in World of Warcraft is make sure to plan ahead when it comes to flight points. If you're near a nearby flight point, it's really advantageous to pick that up earlier rather than later. A good example of this is that if you're in Elwyn Forest and you're on the eastern side of it, you may as well go all the way up to Red Ridge and pick up the flight point. That way, when you inevitably have to go back to Red Ridge, you can just fly there and you won't have to spend about 15 minutes walking there from Stormwind City. Another really big tip I have when it comes to traveling in WoW is make sure you buy the enchant for movement speed. There is a movement speed enchant in Classic WoW that increases your movement speed by 7%. And this is actually quite a low level enchant, so you can buy this for a couple of gold and it's just really worthwhile. When you think about it, a 7% movement speed when you have no mount is going to mean that you'll level up way quicker than you could normally. If you and your friend are walking somewhere that takes 10 minutes, if you have that movement speed buff, you'll arrive there about 40 seconds earlier than he does. So as you can imagine, as you level up from 1 to 40, this is just going to shave a lot of time off that. But to conclude, movement speed is just a lot slower in Classic WoW, and you will have to get used to walking around in this game. Number 1, Dungeons are long. So playing Mythic Dungeons in BFA, they take about 45 minutes at most. And that is quite a convenient amount of time. You really do not need to spend that much time to do a mythic dungeon, and you can get some really nice loot at the end. However, that is not what it's like in Classic WoW. In fact, I think the majority of dungeons take at least an hour and a half, up to three hours. So yeah, that is just a huge time difference when it comes to the length of dungeons, and some of the longest dungeons in this game is probably Wailing Caverns, Lower Black Rock Spire, and Sunken Temple. These dungeons can pretty much take between two to three hours to complete, and that is just unheard of when it comes to BFA. So getting into a dungeon group in Classic WoW is a multiple hour ordeal, and even raids are longer in this game. The dungeons in Classic WoW are just full of trash, and hard trash at that. In fact, I think the trash mobs in Classic WoW actually will kill you more often than the actual bosses. I remember going into dungeons in Classic WoW, 
and most of the time the trash mobs would kill us and they're actually the real challenge of the dungeon. And the bosses are pretty basic. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more World of Warcraft videos. This is Volty, signing out.